It is winter solstice. There's a beautiful sunset out of my window. Um, Jay is watching Elf with, excuse me, with their best friend. And I am making bread and gonna eat soup and wrap presents and maybe go through my closet. So I thought, you know, what better thing to do when you're alone than grab your camera and make sure someone is there to talk to. So I've been making this really, really easy um, bread recipe. And I've been trying my hand at this for a while. And it's going pretty well, actually. I'm very surprised. This loaf looks incredible. Okay. Now, we just give it five more minutes so that it gets golden. If you're interested, there are our new shelves in our kitchen, but you can see from electric stuff, counters that haven't been replaced, unfinished painting on here, but painted on the window, uh, stuff that we aren't quite through the kitchen renovation. We've got a ways to go. So I did this thing in November, I think in November, where anyone who was a patron of mine on Patreon got to get my clothes for free. And it was like one of the most fun things I've ever done, honestly. Like it was just cool. It was fun to be able to give away my clothes for free and to send out little care packages to my patrons. And yeah, that was just, it was just fun. Um, and I'm excited about doing it in the future. And I am looking at my closet lately and realizing I have lots more to get rid of. Um, especially in the like jeans department because I just don't fucking wear a lot of these, you know? Like, I just have no real desire to wear them. I haven't worn them in a long time. And truth be told, I am trying to become a sustainable shopper, which comes with its own set of fraught emotions. I feel a little bit weird about the idea of shopping sustainably. First of all, <laughs> the idea is not to replace my closet. It is to figure out what I love in my closet and use it and make sure that the items that I don't love are going to people who will use them. And then as I make future purchases or if I realize there are things in my closet that I want more of to make those choices sustainably minded. So my closet has been shrinking. But here's the thing. I think that we don't talk about this enough. I think the only reason I'm able to do this and I am able to feel like I want a very small wardrobe is because over the last 10 years, I have had an abundance of clothing. Like as a plus size person, we never have like a ton of choices, but because I've been an influencer and stuff, I've had more access. Look at this. Look at this. I've had a lot more access to clothing that, you know, 
I wouldn't have had access to previously. So I feel like had I not had access to that clothing, well, that can't be a good idea. I put, put the camera up against a candle. Probably isn't smart. Um, but had I had less access to clothing, I don't think I'd be in the same place about like changing around my wardrobe because I think I'd still be like anxious about having enough to wear, you know? Check out this fucking loaf. Man, I, this, oh, did you just see that? That crispity, crunchity, ooh! That's a good loaf. It's a good loaf, y'all. What I was saying was that I believe that the reason I'm like ready to pare down my clothing is because I have had access to as much clothing as I could possibly need. And I'm now realizing that my need is much smaller. I think that like when we ask people to shop sustainably and stuff, um, we don't consider if they've ever actually fully had access to the things they need because that's a big ask when people haven't even been able to like experiment or try new things because a lot of sustainable stuff is not that fucking exciting. It's very basic. So I feel really lucky that I've been able to try new things and try kind of like all of the things in plus size fashion and now I have realized that I am just a big farmer butch and I only need a few things to get by. So gonna be changing that wardrobe up. Some of the things that I know will stay in my closet are a couple pairs of universal standard jeans. I cannot live without a couple of my pairs of universal standard jeans. Um, shop ARQ underwear always and forever in my closet. Um, what else? The, I have a weird relationship with tops, but I have found a couple sweaters from Tradlins that I will never get rid of. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, those are some things that I find myself going back to over and over and over again. And I think that when I was doing like a lot of influencing or whatever, a lot of collabs and a lot of hauls, I felt like I always had to be wearing something new. And y'all, how many times has this dress been in my vlogs? Like it has to be a thousand times in my stories and in my vlogs because I wear this all the time because it's a house dress and it's what I wear. I do not wear different things that often. I work from home, I wear the same shit all the fucking time. And I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend like I don't. I'm still like a shopping resource. I know a lot of places to shop and I can be that um but now that I know that I am paring down my closet, I don't feel this need to like show everyone what I'm wearing all the time and show the different things that I'm wearing. So yeah, now I get to just be wearing the same shit all the all the damn time. Uh, I gotta go get a piece of bread, make my dinner. Look at these angels. Conca's over there. Uh, Petty's licking her butt. And Tank's back there. Closest, yeah, that's you, bub. Uh, closest to the heater. And look at this one. Hi, honey. Hello. What you doing? Little update for everyone. The dogs are doing so well. Uh, Conca was with us for about a month before we realized that um, he needed to get on thyroid meds. And I swear, hey, Conca. Conca. Hi, Bubby, hello. I swear for the first like month that we had him, his ears were down. And since he's been on medication, his ears are up, he's perky. We're all very happy here, aren't we babies? It's gonna snow this weekend, so we decided we better start a fire and enjoy the last of the nice weather. So we're all making s'mores. Hey Luke. <laughs>
Thank you.